welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome your Rocket City Trash Pandas. Jose Rodriguez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So now into the box is David Fletcher. He will lead this one off today. The afternoon for the Angels, the second baseman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's the first out. Batting second. The shortstop. Jose Iglesias. So the next to bat will be Jose Iglesias. First delivery to him. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Reined in. Throw on to first, and it's a very quick beginning to the afternoon now. Two away. Next to hit, Mike Trout. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here it comes. Drilled right back up the middle. Scooped up. On to first, and can you believe it? A three pitch inning, and just like that, the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning, so it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Dylan Bundy, a right hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. And when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. Jeremiah Jackson is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Here comes the 0 1. This is hit high and deep out to left. Upton going back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the that first, starting it off with a leadoff single baseman. gets everyone in your he dugout going. Isabel. Late now, Ibundel Isabel. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Dan, he took that right back at his face right that there. Exactly what you're trying to field. do. Middle cut, right though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's yeah. a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Upton is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Batting four. The left fielder. Pedro Diaz. So now it'll be the four hole hitter. Pedro Diaz. From the belt. The pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trout has a read on it. Two gone. So now here is Kyron Paris looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. He's set. Here it comes. This one's down to third. He's got it. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. And inning in the books. No score here on the show. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jared Walsh. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Jared Walsh. Or 
first pitch coming. Here it is. And he popped him up. And he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he will get there as the Angels are in business with a leadoff double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Justin Upton the next to hit. He swings and grounds it to short. Field it cleanly, and that's out number one. The right field. Number three. Now it'll be Taylor Ward. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. And a reaching effort, but this ball gets by him as he does a half gainer to try to flag it down. And he'll reach second now with one away. This is the type of production they were expecting from this guy when he came to the majors a couple of years back. He looks really at ease at the plate, and that relaxed swing is getting some really good results. Good example on that double there. Always great to see a young player blossoming. In now is John Jay. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. That gets down as one run is in. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. And they're runners at the corners now. The 0 1 on its way. Behind 0 2 now. Angels lead at 1-0 here in inning number two. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. Throw won't get them. Boy, not much you can do with that Daddy, one from a pitching standpoint. Okay. Dero makes a pretty good pitch, and somehow, some way, this guy's able to muscle one in for a base hit. Yeah, and you know what? Good job by the hitter right there, not trying to do too much. I know he got jam sandwich right there, but he was able to find some green grass and give himself a chance. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet it's off the wall and they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score the tag and he is out the batter number 22 second baseman David Fletcher. so now to the plate David Fletcher as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Ditter is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. So they pick up three runs on five base hits, no errors, and one man left on. On now to the bottom of the second. Angels are out in front, three to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Kevin Maiton. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Kevin. And now the first pitch. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Line drive to center field, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. To the plate now. Brennan Lund lifted the other way down the left field line. And this is taken in by Upton for the first out. Batting eight, the right fielder, Gareth Morgan. Next, it'll be Gareth Morgan. 
first swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Runner at first here, one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. And there's a base hit on the line. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner will score from second. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. It's now a three to two contest. Now Always nice to get some run production from the bottom of your order, right? That double brings in two runs, and the top of the order is coming up here. This could really be a big inning. Into the box now, Jeremiah Jackson. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. He collected a base hit his first time up. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Trout to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Got a long way to go to make that running catch, and here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it, showed nice closing speed, and ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Stepping in now, Ibunda Isabel. High in the air down the right field line. Ward is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Halos lead this one three to two. All set for the start of the inning and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Jose Iglesias. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back. Stepping in once again is Mike Trout. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ground ball left side. Reined in. And that's the second out. Now back. So now the Angels cleanup batter, Jared Walsh. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. This is pulled into right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. He's been making it look real easy out there. Two at bats, two doubles. They might want to think about pitching around him the next time he steps in because he looks locked in for this one. Here's Justin Upton now. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And they throw up the stop sign at third as they decide to play it safe with two away. Well, he was almost out of the inning. Then the last two batters showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back-to-back -back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you.
Into the box, Taylor Ward. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ditter is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 4-2 Halos. Bottom of the inning now. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Ray Patrick Ditter. The center fielder, Ray Patrick Ditter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Upton, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Now batting. Left so stepping in is Pedro, Pedro Diaz. Flew out in his Diaz. only at bat so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ward is there. Two down. Now batting. And now in the box, the Kyron Paris. Kyron. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Paris. Now the first pitch. And this is lined hard to deep left. Upton is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Hey, this was a great three inning game with a lot of action. Very rarely in a short abbreviated game do you get to see a slugfest like we were able to watch today. Four to two the final score today. The Halos took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Dylan Bundy takes home the win. Jose Rodriguez worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. Final lines for this afternoon.